Hello and welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3. Hearts of Stone with early game gear. We are playing on Death March difficulty. And we are also playing with the Viper Swords and the Warrior's Leather Jacket from early on in the base game. We are on our way to meet Shiny. But while on the way, we're stopping and checking out many things. So I'm not sure we're going to make it to Shiny this episode. She's waiting for us at the Von Everett Crip. We are down in this uh, the southeast corner of the map of Velen and Novigrad area. And uh, now we are just going over here to see what's going on. I saw some things on the map, some structures up in this area, up on that hill, I believe. Yes, there's like a building and something up there. So let's go up there and see what's going on. See if there's any hidden treasures or bandit camps or whatnot. Stack, stack here. Looks like, oh, hidden treasure. Looks like there's a ballista over there. There's many, many monsters down there. Looks like ghouls and all ghouls, probably. Let's just do some looting before we head down there. Yeah, there's definitely a ballista pointing in that direction over there for whatever reason. Hmm, oh, here comes the ghouls. Everything's fine, no problems at all. Just a bunch of ghouls. Yep, watch out. Careful, excuse me. Oh, so there's an abandoned site down there. Hopefully after we kill these ghouls, uh, that will clear that site. There might be another ghoul down there farther. I can't see. I've been kind of busy with these four ghouls. Actually, there's five ghouls. One's dead. There's still four to go, though. I also see some sparkles on the dead body over there. We'll be sure to check that out. I guess that's not all of them because the abandoned site is still abandoned. Yeah, and I just saw another life form down there. So it's probably like an, another ghoul or an all ghoul or something down there. So we'll head down there in just a second. I'm just going to collect all the drops and loot this area first. There's a sparkly corpse over here, so let's check that out. Newt Krutzman's Journal and a completely ordinary key and some crowns. Kulik Kulikov and his men are busy preparing the hunt, so I have a few moments to write up this whole incredible affair. Week back, I arrived, I arrived home in Oxenfurt after a long journey and found I'd received a letter from my barrister. My aunt Helena had finally passed on and left all her belongings, including her hut outside Novigrad, to me. The letter included a copy of her will and a key to the chest in which she had stashed her savings. Remembering how my dear auntie would serve her guest only bread and water, I was sure she'd managed to save up a hefty stash of coin during her long and miserly life. So I raced off in a flash to my aunt's hut to pay my respects at her grave, and while there, take a gander at what's in that chest. But when I got there, the hut was in ruins, and the neighboring peasants were claiming a griffin had nested on my aunt's lands. So there I was, a fortune in arm's reach, and not a way to get at it. So I went back to Oxenford and raced to the alchemy fast as my feet would take me, for I had heard the famous Kulik Kulikov was there, watering their horses after their latest adventure. We agreed to terms quick enough, he'd get a portion of what we found in the chest, and set off to exterminate this plowing pest of a griffin. Now I'm sitting and watching Kulikov's lads arm that ballista, writing this all down to calm my nerves and pass the time. The fun's about to start. Yeah, I don't think it worked out too good, Mr. Newt Krutzman. Although I don't think the griffin killed you. I think it was probably these uh, ghouls. I did see a griffin a little while ago flying over in, the, uh, in that direction. A surprise inheritance. So they had the ballista here to kill the griffin. We'll go check that out very shortly. And there it is over there. And that is probably where the griffin is too that I saw flying. 
While we're over here, though, let's go see if we can... Oh, there's more loot down here. Don't forget all the loot. But while we're over here, let's see if maybe we should... Uh, we should clear out this abandoned site. Looks like there's one more beast down here. I'm sure there's lots more loot. Let's get, get as much of the loot as we can. Just in case after we clear the site, there's soldiers around. Because then we won't be able to uh, do any looting. Looks like a ghoul or an all ghoul. What are you? You're a ghoul. Hi, ghoul. Alright, this ghoul's just about done. I got him poisoned. I burned him a few times. A couple more hits should do him in. Maybe actually the poisoning will kill him. Yes, it does. And that's it. So here come some people to live at the abandoned site. I'll get a little bunch of experience points and maybe some gold. And there'll probably be a merchant here. And, uh, wow, I'm looking pretty veiny right now. 150 experience points. Very good. And 50 crowns. Let's check this area out. It looks like it's just regular people, not soldiers. Oh, there are creepy kids here. Let's, uh, get all the loot. And then I'll probably meditate here. Because it's almost night time. And then I'll probably head over and, uh, fight that griffin. Okay, I meditated, and uh, now I'm gonna go check with this new merchant real quick. Maybe unload some of my gear if he ha if he says if he uh, can afford to buy any of it. <laughs> this kid is really into that fire. Yes, yes, burn, burn, woo! He is totally into it. They're burning corpses, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, there's a merchant down here. Let me just see if I can sell some some armor and swords to him. I'm not sure how much money he has. Buying or just perusing? He only had 200 crowns, but I also I bought some things for him, from him. I bought the diagram on how to make the Perun rune stone, and also the diagrams how to make the journeyman and uh, master repair kits. And so that gave him more money, and I was able to sell some more stuff. So uh, that was I was sort of like trading diagrams for uh, inventory space and weight management purposes. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna go fight this griffin, apparently, who's guarding this hut where there may or may not be a treasure. Hmm, I can hear the griffin. Oh, hi, griffin. Yeah, that's definitely a griffin. Let's get up there and uh, find a good place to start attacking this griffin from. That might be the abandoned like abandoned and destroyed hut right there. You want to come over here where there's lots of room to fight? Doesn't look like it. It looks like you want to stay up there. Let's see, is there a path to get up here? Must be a nest up here or something. Hmm. Can we get up this way? How about up here? Yes, okay. Yeah, this is the nest. Hey, Griffin. Not a very big area to fight on. Gonna need our uh, hybrid oil. Let's see how my cross builds. Oh, nice. Oops. Now I'm down in no man's land. Maybe what I should be on this side. Let's try fighting over in here. There's a little more room. Nope. Oh, darn. Hey. The poisoning does a lot of damage to this griffin, so if we can po keep it poisoned and maybe get a burn in on it, it will go down pretty quick, I think. There we go. Oh, oh darn. I can I hit you? Oh, I suck. Uh, about halfway dead, though. Oop! Ouch! <laughs> hey, how you doing? Ouch. Right, we got a constantly poisoned. That's good. There we go. How's that gonna... Ooh, look at how much damage that fire does. Yeah. There we go. 
poisoned to death. Alright, so now there's clues to follow and loot to loot. It was an arch griffin, not just a griffin. Okay, so what is all this? I can't really examine it. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Let's go over here. Oh, there's a dead person. Letter to brother-in-law. To my dear putz of a brother-in-law. My hand's shaking so bad, my quill's about to take flight. So hope you can read this. The old Kreutzmann's hags bit the dust at last. I know, only a real black guard enjoys another's funeral. But that wench was as grouchy as a miser as they come. No one liked her, not even a little. So why am I writing about her? Because I happen to know the old wench left behind a sizable stash of gold. Her being so damn stingy all her rotten life and not having any means to leave anything to. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to her cellar this evening to look around see what I can find. You take your lass, my sister, treat her right, you bastard, and head the statue as soon as you can. We'll all buy ourselves a manor and drink, eat, and shite to excess till the end of our merry days. Your brother, Greggs. P.S. Folk gossip about some flying vermin prowling the winch's hut, but that's village hag prattle. Not anything else, any, not anything any self-respecting bloke should believe. Alright, so here's the griffin nest. There's nothing in there. But there is supposedly a cellar around here. Check the ruined hut cellar. And I did see some ruins right around here. So let's... And there it is. That looks like an old chimney. Let's go down uh, there, but let's not die falling off this little cliff. Sometimes you can die by falling off the smallest little ledges. Oh, nice jump. We'll go down this way. Nice and safe. Here we go. All right, here's the ruined hut. See if we can find a cellar door. There we go, there's a cellar door right there. Open up, yes thank you, and then go down into the cellar. These people seem to think she held a lot of money, but we'll see. We'll see how much money she, she actually had. There's the chest. There's some crafting ingredients and some alcohol. What's in the chest exactly? Eleven florins. That's not very much, you guys. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to buy a manor with eleven florins. Okay, now we're heading more towards the direction of where Shiny is at the Everick uh, Crypt. So it's up the north here a little bit. Oh, bandit camp. So there's a band. Oh, I see it. There's a bandit camp right there. All right, Roche, just hang out here for a minute. We're gonna go talk to these bandits. If I talk to them, I mean kill them with my sword. Oh, there's a lot of them. Looks like that guy is like wearing laboratory stuff, or he's a chef or something. They're all fallen knights. One of them's got a crossbow. Let's try to kill that crossbow guy first. Oh yeah, they're like making fist tech here. Or something. Hi, guy. How you doing? Oh, there's another guy with a hammer. He looks like Plague Doctor, Doctor from Darkest Dungeon. There's another guy with a hammer. Well, there's a lot of them here. All right, we uh, got to retreat for a minute. We're going to need some Hangman's Venom on our sword, that's for sure. And also, let's... Uh, maybe there's some... Uh, let's see... Oh, I hear some bees. You know, I've always wanted to see how those bees work. I've hadn't had I've hadn't had any luck yet making the bees attack enemies, but if I get the chance, I'm gonna knock that bees that beehive down. I think he used Ard. Where is it? I heard it. Oops. Stu stupid uh, crossbow guy. Where is that? Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see if I can knock these this, that nest down on uh, onto them. Maybe I should kill this crossbow guy first. He's almost dead. Ooh, that chest has sparkles coming out of it. All right, he's dead. There we go. Ooh, watch out for the hammer. 
All right, let's try to, uh... Oh, watch out. I'm gonna go over here and try to knock this hornet's nest, or this bee's nest down. Whatever, hornet's nest, I guess. All right, see if that does anything. Okay, good, it does work. Whoa, it does a lot of damage. Wow, that's awesome. All right, good. That's gonna soften up a lot. I'm gonna go back here so they have to travel back through it. Wow, they might even die from this, some of them. Yep, one of them died from wasp stings. Another one died, another one died. <laughs> the guy with the shield is having a lot of troubles. This hammer guy is going down pretty quick with the poisoning and my sword. And I think they're gonna, this is gonna be it right here. He's dead. Okay, this guy has a little bit of health left. See if we can make it through the bees once more. Okay, this should kill him, right? Yeah, he's totally gonna die. Nice. <laughs> All right, now I just gotta loot the bodies and go check out that chest. Oh, it's hard for me to loot bodies when I'm getting stung by bees, though. What did I pick up? Fet Damine's notes. Fifteenth of Blath. Our supply of formic acid grows thinner by the day. True, Master Ehrlich sent brethren to wash the high road, but I find it far-fetched to believe a caravan of alchemists will ride past them, hauling full barrels of acid anytime soon. Ergo, we must try to procure some on our own, for otherwise there can be no talk of producing any more Fistech. 23rd of Blath. My experiments have, proving, have proven we can obtain the missing substance following a very simple procedure. I now need only to convince the brethren of the necessity of a few little bee stings. The 25th of Blath. Obtaining formic acid from bee venom has proven extremely exhausting and is progressing far too slowly to satisfy our needs. Perhaps a change of methods is in order. Scribbled in the margin. Idea. Simmer common urtica diaca in covered pot above an open fire, letting the steam condense into a series of wooden buckets underneath, one of which will receive the acid, acidic portion and thus the formic acid. 26 of Blath. The brethren have grown extremely irritated. Not only by the bee stings, but by the fact that they now must gather stinging nettle. Ah, uh, the price to make drugs. All right, well, let's search all around here and loot this area. We'll try to get all the loot that they dropped over near the bee's nest, if I can get it without being stung to death. Here's some cool stuff in here. A diagram and a crumpled letter and some ore and stuff. Boots diagram, untranslated. Diagram written in an unknown tongue Requiring translation. Drawing show various stages of crafting boots. Okay, and the crumpled letter. Tur, Ulrich told me to send you one of these stolen diagrams. He's dead set on puzzling them out as quick as possible. No idea what's put the fire to his breeches, but knowing him, this coin involved, sure is shaving. So if you do manage to decipher anything, write me first and we'll reconnoiter on what to do next. That lout starting around me. Sits on his arse all time, getting up only to come chew us out. High time he was taught a lesson. Robbie. Hmm. I think that's the second untranslated uh, diagram I found. So that must be something to do with a mission later or whatever. Alright, let's make sure we get everything around here. Can I climb that ladder? Probably not. Hmm. Can I get this stuff without being stung to death? I got some of it. I'm not sure there's... There might be more there. I don't know. Anything else? I can't see anything like sparkling. I, maybe I got it all. All right, maybe that was it. Okay, I believe we're getting very close to where Shani is. This looks like a manor here. And we're going actually to the Von Everett Crypt, which is right next to their manor. Von Everett stayed. okay, very good. So let's just go over this bridge. It's like a pretty big estate. They were very rich, I take it. So shiny is. Let's see. Is that her? That's shiny right there. Hi, shiny. Not so fast, Roach. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials. 
often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Hmm, not sure if there's a right answer here. I definitely want to romance her, so I don't want to say anything that would, that would jeopardize that. Didn't know you were getting married. <laughs> not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Yeah, love to. Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. Dead man's party. The tone was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. All right, so it looks like we're going up these stairs, and here's a... Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. Okay. If there's any trouble, just yell. All right, Shiny, we'll see you next episode. And also, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time, and we'll explore the Von Everett Crypt. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.